Yep, it's the best and worst dirt ride ever. Why? I'll explain later. But we are in the magnificent high country northeast of Melbourne in Victoria. See all that dark green? This huge area of national parks and state forests covers much of the Australian Alps, where we Aussies ski in winter. And apparently this KTM is so wild, it must be kept in this enclosure. So why is this the best and worst dirt ride ever? Well, we did see some great views. There were constant changes in elevation as we rode along ridges then descended into valleys and various creek and river crossings. And the guys we rode with were a pile of fun. The problems? Well, it was the worst run tour <laughs> I've ever been on. No backup vehicle, so if a rider was injured, he had to jump on the back of someone else's bike. If too injured, then there was no communications equipment. So someone would have to ride far enough to get phone reception, then call emergency services. And get this, if a bike gets left behind, the rider has to organise his own recovery later. The second issue was the lack of dirt riding. Most of the trip consisted of reasonably easy fire trails like this. Absolutely zero single track because the 76 year old tour leader doesn't like single track. And apparently the high country has some amazing single track and hill climbs. We just had to ride past all of it. So sorry guys, you won't see much in the way of real dirt riding in this vid but I hope you enjoy it anyway. This was just the start of the problems, but I'll bore you with more later. Or just see our review video about this tour. The guys we rode with? <laughs> Brilliant. There is nothing like getting a bunch of dirt bike riders together for a few days and hanging out. About the only weird moments were after the first two beers and this sort of shit would go down. That's when I'd run for my room, lock the door and hide under the bed. Apparently after four beers, they would be practicing their wheelie skills on anything they could find in the nightclubs or pubs. Oh yeah! <laughs> Finally got a trade picture. <laughs> While the high country has incredible views, we were mostly just surrounded by trees, so it would feel like any normal fire trail. But late afternoon, we finally got to experience the views most of the way to the ski resort. Even the long road slog is very bearable with views like this. Hang around guys, we've got three more days of riding. Catch you soon.